Far from any movie images of futuristic robots, artificial intelligence is already behind many of the technologies we use nowadays. The European Commission will present its first ever AI legislative proposal Wednesday, but in terms of funding for projects that integrate it, Brussels has already been doing so for years. Human IT care is one of them. This medical platform collects data from patients, including their blood pressure or heart rate, through different devices to give doctors easy access to the data. An alert is given if and when something goes wrong, but any final decision is always taken by a doctor. Artificial intelligence here is helping because the alarms that we uh, provide, the platform provides to the doctors, are setting by establishing like some uh, learnings into their diseases of these uh, patients. So the alarms um, cannot just um, provide them like a trigger event, but also like a, a knowledge about what is going on. And once they enter into the platform, they can see uh, how these values are performing and they can take their own decisions based on this platform. AI allows machines to analyze and learn from environments and take decisions to reach specific goals. But it has risks. It can be used as a form of social control, something that happens in China. It can help to make tasks more efficient though, like checking CVs, but it can reproduce biases, like those based on gender or race. To avoid this, the European Parliament wants AI to always be designed to benefit humans. Artificial intelligence must always have a human-centered perspective. It must always be linked to the development of human beings. And of course, it must always be directed towards making the benefit as social and as distributed as possible. And on the other hand, it has to be respectful of our fundamental rights. But over-regulating AI could stop the technology from developing, which is why the US is taking the opposite approach. Ethics professor John Tassioulis says there should be a balance between both. But often people, when they talk about overregulation, they're purely thinking in economic terms. They're thinking this is something that hinders economic growth. And the key thing to remember here is economic prosperity is only one goal amongst others. There are also rights we have to think about. And often respecting rights means limiting the economic prosperity we might otherwise have. The EU hopes that its new legislation will build a path for others to follow, as happened with the bloc's GDPR data protection law. Christopher Pitcher's Euronews, Brussels.